Hey, I'm Greg with Rev, and today I'm here to talk to you about some of the new exciting features for the Spark Max for the 2020 FRC season. Today we are releasing firmware 1.5 for Spark Max. This enables two features that the community has asked for, and we're happy to bring them to you today. The first of which is the introduction of alternate encoder. What that allows you to do is use an external encoder plugged into the top of your Spark Max. The most common utilization for this is when you're using one of your Neo brushless motors plugged into Spark Max, you can now have a higher resolution encoder on somewhere like your drivetrain so you don't get as much backlash feedback through the gear train and you can do a lot tighter closed loop control. The second feature we're excited about today is the introduction of our USB CAN bridge. What this allows you to do is through one single USB connection on your Spark Max, you can now talk to every single Spark Max on your CAN bus. You can firmware update, you can configure, and you can do a lot of really cool things. For teams who build their robots with motor controllers distributed throughout their robot, this will make keeping up to date with the latest software easier as the season progresses. So let's start by plugging in the Spark Max. After the Spark Max is plugged in on the client, we'll press connect. The client will sync with the Spark Max, gaining all the parameters that are currently programmed onto this motor controller. You may notice the Spark Max client looks really familiar to previous versions. On the basic tabs, all of your most commonly featured options are still here. This includes picking your motor type, uh, setting brake and coast modes, inputting current limits, setting CAN IDs. The nice new feature is that you can now save your configurations and apply them to multiple motor controllers. This saves a lot of time when setting up a full robot. Next onto the Advanced tab, you'll see that you'll be able to modify any parameter, including smart motion, sensors, and more, on your motor controllers. The Run tab has been completely overhauled for this year, allowing you to see any signal being sent to any Spark Max on the network. You can now also run and change parameters on the fly, making it easier to configure advanced control modes like smart motion and PID than ever before. The one that you will really like is the Network tab. The Network tab is where you'll see the USB to CAN bridge really shine. We're going to send it out to Mac at our warehouse. He'll show you how this works on a real FRC robot. Hey guys, it's Mac from Rev Robotics. I'm here in our warehouse with an FRC robot. Going to go through the process of updating the firmware on the Spark Maxes that are on this machine. Currently, this robot has 12 Spark Maxes running different operations of the machine. The motor controllers are located in places that made it easiest for the team to be able to accomplish their goals. So there's some of them that are out on the intake, there are other ones that are up on the shoulder, and other ones that are over on the electronics uh, board itself. This could make things a little bit challenging to make sure that all your configurations are right and updating firmware as you're going on. With new changes to the firmware, it makes updating things easier than ever over the CAN bridge. So what you're going to want to do before you end up getting started with updating your firmware over the CAN bridge is to make sure that your robot is on and power is being sent to every Spark Max that you are looking to do either configuration or firmware update on. Then you're going to want to make sure that you're plugged in via USB-C to the easiest Spark Max you can find. On this robot, it's actually right up here in the shoulder. We already are plugged in and are ready to go. Next thing that we're going to want to do is take our Spark Max client and head over to the network tab. From there, we want to make sure that we are connected to our primary Spark Max. As a reminder, the Spark Max you use as the CAN bridge must be updated to firmware version 1.5 before you can update other Spark Max controllers. Once the connection is done, we want to scan the bus for all Spark Maxes that are available. Once that is done, you're able to see each individual firmware that is available for each Spark Max. On here, it looks like we have most of them are updated to 1.4. However, there is one that is on 1.1.33. This one is not going to be updated over the CAN bridge as you need to be updated to 1.4 for the CAN bridge to USB firmware update to work. But we're going to update the rest of them anyhow. We're then going to click on the load firmware button to be able to select the right firmware. And then we're going to push firmware to all of the devices. From there, we're going to see the blink code change on all the Spark Maxes that are getting a firmware update, and we're going to need to wait somewhere around 30 seconds for the firmware to install. And with that, this robot is all ready to go for competition. Hey, thanks, Mac. As you can tell, we're really excited to bring you all these awesome new software features. 
for Spark Max for this season. To get access to all the resources about how to update your Spark Max and the software we talked about today, visit the Spark Max software resource page on our website. If you need help or support throughout the season, you can email us at support at revrobotics.com. We hope you have a great season and we look forward to seeing what you build at the competitions this year.